Buckeye fans, you all know who I'm sitting next to right now. This is a guy that helped lead the team to a national championship in 2002. I am joined by my close personal friend <laughs> and uh, one of my boys, man, Maurice Claret. How you doing? I'm good, good. Yourself? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Happy to have you here, man. Really excited to have you. Happy to be here. Um, let's just get right going. You've been watching the Buckeyes. I, mm -hmm. I, I follow you a bit on, uh, on social media. <laughs> you always have some opinions. What have you been seeing from the Buckeyes this season, from start to finish, to where we are now? How has this journey been for the Buckeyes? Uh, of course, you know, everybody wanted the season to go a lot different. You know, we're 10-1, and, one, and um, uh, that, that's a great record overall. But I think uh, for them to kind of get it done this week, I think you need a lot more energy than yeah. what you've been seeing. I think you have to uh, establish a run. And obviously, I'm biased because I think everything is built off the run. And, uh, well, you were running back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so... And, uh, and, and I think you need you need more energy out of the defense. I think a lot, yeah. you know, even when you come to big games, you know, all these kids have talent. All these kids were highly recruited, but a lot comes down to the energy and the pace that you set. And I just didn't see a lot of energy from the defensive front as comparison as, as what you've seen in the past. Sure. And I just think if you can kind of combine those three things, just, a, you know, a better run attack and, a, and, and the quarterback, yes, he had a bit tougher. You know, don't get cared about being knocked around today. Stick your head in there. None of that, like, the, the soft slide and stuff. Sure. You know, you got to get your head in there. It's, it's a big deal. It's a big game. He's got to, he's got to toughen up because he's the leader of that offense. So physicality, as Physica always. Yeah, physicality is a big deal. You know, when you when you're a big guy passing the ball around, um, and it's time for you to take off and run, you'll be amazed at the amount of uh, uh, energy that you get into other people for running there and sticking in there. I can remember back when Craig was playing, when yeah. Craig took off Craig and he, he sacrificed his body, it kind of makes the, it, it motivates the running back, it motivates the defense alignment, and it motivates the offense alignment because it's saying, hey, this guy who's leading us is all in. That stuff resonates with the team. Yeah. And, um, and and you need that same energy. You know, defense, and it's just my personal opinion, you need some of those linebackers to close kind of hard like say, Shazier did back in the day. Sure. Just coming downhill, knocking guys out and, and that is infectious to the crowd and everything is built off of that you know and that's when guys take and make big plays and so on and so forth so what comes out of energy now we just watched a little reel of, you know right there of you and uh, a lot of your highlights <laughs> from my freshman year a lot of you people don't know me and this guy were freshmen together yeah um he's one of the only <laughs> freshmen i ever seen walk in day one and look at the starting running back and go i'm gonna have your job pretty soon so <laughs> you have a chance to transfer if you want to but you might want to think about that because this is gonna be my show i've never seen anything <laughs> like that before that's when i knew you were a different cat i'm humble and, now I'm humble and, and, and you have been ever since but it takes that kind of intensity. It takes that yeah. kind of focus. And I will always say that about you. You had a laser-like focus for mm -hmm. a young person. I've never seen someone 18 years old that, that it had, you know, that what you wanted was right in front of you and you knew it and you weren't distracted by anything else when you got on that football field. When it comes to the Michigan game, you know, lining up, mm -hmm. what was that like for you? How was your preparation and what do you expect out of these guys today? Yeah, no, the preparation was huge. Uh, the irony is that I seen uh, C. Grant on TV, and I remember we roomed together, yeah. and I remember um, my body was aching. It was hurting real bad, and uh, literally I, I, I was questioning was I able to go, but I remember uh, C. was talking to me the night before about what it meant to him to have me in that game to finally get a chance to beat Michigan, and I just remember all being up all night talking to him and then coming out the next day, and it was just like a, it's like a supreme focus or a supreme confidence you get in your mind to say that I can't be beat. You know, mm -hmm. you have to walk on the field with that attitude to yes. say, you know, regardless, I'm winning. You know, it's the same attitude that I took into the national championship, and it's the same attitude that you take towards game one. If you don't walk in feeling like you're the best at what you're doing, it's not going to transfer. And, you know, that's that's part of, like, being, like, a great athlete, being able to tap into something different mentally. Yes. And because everybody has the same level of skill, but the guy willing to take it the furthest or the guy believing that I'm, I'm, willing, I'm really willing and ready to die out here, and, and translate that and, and make that infectious on the field. That's the guy who has the it advantage. It takes that kind of energy. Yeah, it exactly. takes that kind of energy, yes. Well, listen, I'm, I'm thankful to have you here, my man. <laughs> you know, No one knows more about this game than you, <laughs> uh, especially as a youngster, all the things you did. You know, that O2 team really took on the personality kind of of you yeah. and, and, and of, that, of that running and of that physical and of that aggressive toughness. Mm -hmm. I pray the Buckeyes go out there today and take that same mentality. Um, we're very proud of you, everything you've been doing. I've seen you go all over the country speaking to schools and inspiring people and talking about your journey. I think that's a fantastic thing. Give me, before we get out of here, give me a prediction for today's game. Oh, uh, prediction. Real quick, come on. Uh, I'm thinking 28 to 35. 28 to 35, yes. Buckeyes. Yeah, Buckeyes, Buckeyes, right? Buckeyes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Maurice. Uh, back to you.